Woke up early this morning. Sunshine, blue skies, and the return of the greatest show in college sports. The football party was back in Happy Valley as the Nittany Lions kicked off the 2009 season full of expectations and hopes that come every year with one of the premier programs in the nation. Senior quarterback Darrell Clark led the Lions out of the huddle in the opening drive of the 123rd season of Penn State football was something to watch. Too far side, one near side, Clark back to pass, sets, Clark waits, steps up, throws over the complete, first down, 45, 40, swings it near side, 30, Derek Moy to the 25-yard line. And Moy on a deep in route, but the offensive line gave a lot of protection, and I'll tell you, it started with the offensive line, Clark staying in the pocket, and just delivering the football. Darrell Clark back. Quickly releases, has Corliss. Corliss trying to stay on his feet. Clark, Royster up the middle, swings left. Touchdown, Penn State. But it lies, cap an 84-yard drive and look very, very crisp. Not to be outdone by their offensive brethren, the defense couldn't wait to get on the field and show that they will continue to be among the elite in the nation. Cut down for a loss of the 10-yard line by Jack Crawford. Over the last five seasons, Penn State ranks fifth in the country in total defense, and they would keep Akron zipped tightly shut in the first half, not allowing a single first down. Special teams played a key role as well in the battle for field position dominated by Penn State throughout the half. Sean Lee makes him disappear at the one-yard line. He didn't ride him down. He took him down, baby. <laughs> Co-captain. Last year, coach on the sideline. Schubert up the middle. Schubert, Lee spins him down. And that quickness, and that's what you look for, especially after an injury. The, you know, the ACL, which he had last year, able to come back and show that same quickness, just sifting through traffic, reading the play, and then exploding to the running back. The return of Sean Lee to uniform and Joe Paterno to the sideline helped spark a Penn State team that got its offensive spark from quarterback Darrell Clark who set a Nittany Lion record for 254 first-half passing yards. On the ground, Stephon Green joined a parade of seven different ball carriers as the Nittany Lions blew the cobwebs off the spread HD offense. A lot of time. Sets. Now rolls their side. Looks to create. Looks in the end zone. He throws in the end zone. Touchdown. Penn State. And very casually, Clark saw him and put the ball right out in front of him where he made the easy catch. That's just the poise of Clark after a year a really outstanding football last year, building on that this year. With five new starters on defense and a brand new starting secondary, the Nittany Lions showed little signs of inexperience. Throws down the middle, it's intercepted. Bailey at the 30. On the other hand, Akron had lost just two starters on offense, but couldn't solve Penn State's suffocating D. Inside and buried. He's as good as they get, ladies and gentlemen. The Zips never made it past their own 31-yard line in the first half as the Lions were anxious to display what they had worked on all spring and summer. Motion toward us by Zuck. Clark gets the snap. Blitz coming. Clark steps away from the blitz. Looks downfield. Can't create. And down he goes back on the 42-yard line. They fake it up the middle. 45, 50. Daily 40, 35. Daily 30, 25. And a good fake there that time. I think also the fact the way the Penn State defense is playing, you could take that kind of a chance right there. With confidence in their special teams to execute and their defense in case they didn't, Penn State's successful fake punt helped set up Colin Wagner's first field goal of the season. After missing earlier from 28, he hit from 29. Back goes Clark. He throws down field. It's caught by Moy. First down, Akron 44-yard line. Second down now. And 10 to the near side. Here's Powell. Cuts back inside the 35 and down. Clark steps up. Clark looks in the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State, Derek Moore. Penn State lost their top three receivers to graduation, but Derek Moy led the new generation in on an opening day that answered some questions about the passing game, producing one of the best single-game aerial attacks in Penn State history. And they used every second of the first half to do it. Clark, under pressure, avoids it. Down the middle of the field. Derek Moy. 36 seconds remaining here in the first half. Clark with plenty of time to the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. Graham Zug. 
Penn State dominated the scoreboard in the first half in a large part due to dominating the field position. But that would change with the second half kickoff. Once Akron got a little breathing room, they threatened to score for the first time. Fourth and goal to two. Inside handoff, Allen, and goes down at the one yard line. Nathan Stupar keeps him out. The Nutty Lions turn them away. Boy, just good, good surge by the entire offensive line that time. You control the line of scrimmage away. Penn State has done the entire football game, and you're going to get a lot of yards by Royster. He just breaks it this time off the right side for big yardage in the first down. Play Ashley Clark sets. He throws for Suey. Complete 30-yard line. Joe to the 35 on the first down. Over the 35 to the 39. Clark under pressure. Able to get away. Ball comes loose. Still on the ground. And it's going to be Akron ball. Now Akron has the ball back at the Penn State 41-yard line. Jacome back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Fires it deep down the middle. Open, caught 10-5. Touchdown, Akron. The 40-yard touchdown catch by Darren Bowser would be the only score of the second half. And Joe Paterno felt a lot of his guys played as though the game were over at halftime. Other than the one-play touchdown drive, Penn State did keep up the defensive pressure, especially against the run, even with the shutout gone. And they go inside handoff, and they blow it up again. Uh, Ali Ogbu has put together a very nice game himself, too. I mean, I mean Ogbu gets to be the unsung hero because he plays right next to one of the best defensive linemen in, in college football. And, uh, with Odrick being over there, but those two guys in the middle are going to get a good push the entire season for this football team. Looks left, looks right now, rolls far side, looks downfield, looks downfield, and is hit and thrown for a loss at the 28-yard line by Nathan Stupar. He has just been all over the field with Navarro Bowman being out. I think Stupar just passed me on the all-time tackling list. <laughs> <laughs> with the game in hand, the Nittany Lions took advantage to get playing time for a lot of younger guys, including quarterback Kevin Newsom, one of six true freshmen to see action. He responded by completing his first career passes and nearly leading a scoring drive on a good opening day that still leaves room for a lot of improvement. 